nobody know what you have inside your heart. And when people say it's not going to work, it's because they cannot make it work themselves so they think that it's not going to work so it's nothing to do with you hey welcome back to my channel today video is a little different than the tutorial because i just want to make a sitting down talking video with you i mean i'm walking <laughs> at the moment in the video but you can play this video while you're crocheting or doing any other thing in your home and just to have this conversation with me or listen to me sharing a little bit about my journey on this crochet channel if you're new here my name is Maya and I'm run this crochet tutorial channel Maya Luna Corson I have this channel since the end of 2016 and I have been sharing quite a videos here on my channel there are lots of tutorials as well as the video where i share my emotion my feelings and work in progress in this video i was working on my uh, flower of life wrap top which i have uh, finished um, piece already i mean i have a video tutorial of the whole piece for you if you want to have a look i put in the corner right here in this video on the right corner as well as the link in description box below but today i feel like i want to share a little bit about my journey here as a creator because as much as i love to share with you my crochet tutorial i also would love to connect with you in a deeper level and for those who know me or learn to crochet from my tutorials know that i have many interests many passions including roller skating dancing traveling photographing photographing is that, that or videography videographer photographer <laughs> so and um, i also love writing and meditating to connect with my higher self and learn to be in this high vibration to create more of goodness into my life today i want to share a little bit about why i come back to crochet again if you're following me on instagram and also on facebook as well as here you know that i stopped uploading the video tutorial for some time it was because because now i changed my mind it's because i um taking a little break from work i have made my um last written pattern or have written the pattern the last one was this year in february and then i don't feel like doing it anymore i actually sold all the yarn stash at home like everything that i have including <laughs> all the hooks like beautiful hooks that i collected in the past i don't know five years i sold it all to one of my patrons which is my friend as well so if you're watching now Desiree thank you so much for supporting me <laughs> by all the yarn of me when before I come to the jungle and so I sew everything because I feel like now I want to take a break and also I'm planning to move back to Thailand which means I want to carry as less as possible because Germany and Thailand is a long journey so i was thinking okay i'm not gonna crochet for a while then i come to peru i have one month in the jungle cut off from you know society and outer world meaning no internet no interacting with other people and just be with myself and the plant medicine where they call the plant dieta so i was there in the amazon jungle for one month and then while i was alone i have a lot of idea about crocheting that was so <laughs> beside many other things that i received through being with myself and not being with um you know like internet that don't use internet don't have any outer outer in how to say it like don't have the input from the outer world let's say that but crochet keep coming back to me and I have this idea like oh when I go back to Thailand I also want to do a research and find a sustainable yarn sorry if you hear the motorbike right now because in this moment I'm editing this video in Lima this is my last day in Peru 
and I'm going to the airport in one hour exactly from now. So I was thinking, okay, just sitting here and talk to you a little bit. So come back to this um, realization of coming back to crochet again. While I was in the jungle, I have this strong call to when I use the internet again, I'm going to do some research and find a sustainable yarn in my home country and create clothes from that. I know that there is uh, yarn, the fiber that made out of banana fiber. Since we have lots of banana plants in our country, so I thought this would be a great idea to work with banana fiber. So when I came out from the jungle, I did research and I found one company. They do have much more than banana fiber. They have lotus fiber, lemongrass fiber, and many other fibers from natural material. So I was like, wow, that's so amazing. I make a phone call with them and talk a little bit about my idea. I talked to the guy who was the manager and plan to visit him and his company when I go back to Thailand, which is going to be January next year, two months from now. And yeah, this was the spark of, you know, even I'm, I was in the jungle, crochet and all this idea came to me so i think that means something that i have to follow up so when i went back i came back to the wale where all my stuff is there i have a feeling like oh i want to crochet but i have nothing with me i have no crochet hook i have no yarn <laughs> so i actually went to the local shop and get this cotton yarn and actually i first of all i, I skipped some part i met a woman who owned the yarn company in peru in the valley the sacred valley where i was living for two months we meet up and she gave me this yarn and i make this top do you see this yeah the i think the first tutorial when i came out from the jungle i make this top and it's already tutorial on my channel so you can learn to make that one if you want to i put the link also in the description box below so yeah this was the first yarn that i received and it was cotton 100 percent cotton ecological yarn as well so i was so excited she also gave me a hook but the hook she gave me was a little bit too big so i went to the market and got the hook 3.5 mm and 4 mm and I work on that piece, the first one. I also got some more yarn because I felt like, oh, I'm going to the waterfall and I want to go to hot spring. I don't have any crochet swimsuit with me. So I went to get some yarn and I also made this top, the swimsuit, like a bikini top. I made, I, it's the last tutorial that I shared with you was this bikini top as well, matching with the bikini bottom that I learned from one of the YouTuber. And yeah, I wanted to say that when inspiration came to me, I have no choice but to say yes to it, you know. Some of you might like, you know, like my good friend always make a joke to me like, Oh, you say you're not going to crochet anymore. Look at you. Not even full year like you want to do. You already come back to crochet. And I was like, yeah, I think I cannot stop crochet for long, you know. So I hope you, you're happy that I come back to crochet again. And some of you reach out and ask when I'm going to publish this pattern. For example, the one that I'm working on right now in the video and already have a tutorial on my channel. In fact, I have already published five video tutorials of five different pieces. I think five different pieces if I'm not wrong. So yeah, in these past two months, I have been crocheting and and making a lot of tutorial. As you can see in the intro, how I make a video tutorial, it's just like super raw. I went to get the tripod because I didn't have any tripod to film the video. I got everything new, like I invest again. Well, it's not that expensive because the tripod I have at home is much more expensive than the one that I use here when I was in the Wale. I just want to get something that I can work right away so i went to the market spent all day looking for the tripod and i got the one that uh, in the beginning of the video and that cost me about 25 dollars it's like 100 soilers peruvian money and yeah it's, it does the work like in this tutorial right now that i'm filming i use that that tripod that you see in the beginning and i film on the bed i do have more space to film in the living room and everything but i just love working on the bed somehow and yeah i can sit and like that soft and i can listen to the music so i feel like crochet 
has so much impact, like lots of impact on me. I felt that when I crocheting, I connect deeply to my guidance. I don't know if that sounds weird to you. Do you also feel feel like when you do a creative work, there is some sort of force and energy that work through you? For me, I always have that feeling. Like when something came to me and I follow, I I do without knowing how to do it. It ended up amazing. Like when I trust. In the unknown, so for that I love this process so much. I love the process of creating. I love the process of don't know how to do anything, but trust that I will find the how on the way as long as I connect with the why. Is that make sense to you? So my why is that I love, I love the feeling of making thing, and my why is connect with the joy. If I don't feel joy of doing something, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do thing for money, you know. Like I can't. So when I was starting this business back then, when I came to Germany or moved to Germany with my partner, I actually have no money. I just only have a dream, the vision, and the trust that everything I want to do is going to work. And because that wish and that vision and that trust is so powerful and not, it's like it's keep me going. Even though people around me saying to me like, "Oh, maybe you should go get a job, like you know where they pay you um, salary and insurance, and that you don't have to work so many hours like this. You don't sleep. You just get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier and skinnier." And I was like, "No." If I go work for someone else, I'm not gonna have time to build my business. And people were just like, "Business? Like, how can you call this business?" And I was like, "It's a kind of more like a hobby." And I was like, "You know, this is business in my head, and it's going to happen in my reality." And a few years later, my Aluna Corazon brand and this business, this little business that I built. Pay off the bill, like it's pay my bill and my travel costs and everything. Like I'm able to stop working for one year, and this whole year, almost a year already because the year almost end. I have been living in four countries, and everything paid by the money from my business, from my Yaruna Corazon, from the pattern sale, from the every little cent that I made is from this business. So. I know back then that today is gonna come. Yeah, so I wanna end this video with telling or sharing with you that if you have a dream, if no one close to you believe in you, you got to believe in yourself. I know it's hard, especially if you come from the family member, but know that. Nobody know what you have inside your heart, and when people say it's not gonna work. Is because they cannot make it work themselves, so they think that is not going to work. So it's nothing to do with you. This is your dreams, this is your vision, and if you want to make it work, it's going to work. It's going to work. If you feel in your heart, this is what the universe, God, source put you to do. Girls, boys, and everyone in between, please do it. Continue to believe in yourself because you have to be the first one to to believe in yourself. You have to be your first true fan. <laughs> I don't know if I say it right. You have to be your first true fan, true fan friend. <laughs> you know what I mean. So you have to share yourself. You have to take a break also when you need to. Do not overwork. Don't burn yourself out. But when this inspiration come, just trust. Take the time to go out in nature, touch the grass, lay on the ground, receive the energy from the earth, receive the energy from the sun. This really, I mean it. All this that some people might think, like you know, new age kind of thing. It's not new age anymore. This is the this is reality. This is what we are living right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna end this video here with lots of love sending to you guys. If this is the work you want to do, or any kind of creative work, or any kind of work that is not 
um, what is the word like? You don't have to do what everyone is doing. It. If you want to make a YouTube video, do the YouTube video. You don't have to know how to. The how to you can find on YouTube or on Google anywhere. You just have to listen to yourself, to your heart. Watch what you want to do. What makes you happy, and go ahead. Find a way to do it. We are so lucky. We live in the era that everything is possible. So yeah. I see you next video, and I hope you enjoy this video with me. And if you wanna make this top, just check out this video in the corner here, and there's a few video tutorial for you already. I see you in the upcoming video. I'm gonna show you the yarn I got from the Wale. Happy crocheting! Love you. Bye bye.